The President's State of the Union message tonight was disappointing. He seemed to forget the fact that as he spoke, we had 10 Americans who were being held by Iranians. He seemed to forget the fact that most Americans, over 67% of them, are not feeling safe in their own homes today. They think the world is not a safe place. We've got over 52 million Americans that, well, between the ages of 20 and 64 can't find work. This is also at a time in which while inflation has gone up over 42%, average household income has gone down about well, somewhere around 72 or 7.2% in terms of household income, uh, in terms of the loss of that wage since 1999. During this entire time, the president talked about all the great things that were going on, and yet I think most people here would say that he's talking about a different place than what they're living in. It's not the right approach. I think he's thinking in a different way than most Americans are. Today, what we wanted to hear was a message of hope, one that talked about how we were going to change the way things are today. Uh, what we wanted to hear was a message of cooperation, one of let's find a way to work our way through. This is the time in which manufacturing is decreasing in America, Obamacare is not working, and yet he seemed to forget all that. So for those of us that are here, we're working, we're trying to make ends meet. We found a gentleman who did not talk about things we could do for tax reform. He didn't talk about trying to rebuild an economy. Instead, he seemed to suggest that everything was okay the way it is. Most Americans, feel great about our country, but they also understand that we've got to have leaders that have to move us into the, into the next decade, the decade that we're in right now, but for the next 10 years, we've got to grow, we've got to expand. What they saw here was someone who was truly in denial. It's unfortunate, but that's the challenge we've got.